Hello. Today,、um, I want to introduce you、uh, Kite Post and Driver's Post.、Uh, this is because these two POS applications are the best freemium POS in the world.、Uh, so, I guess many people want to decide which one they use. So, I made a comparison for the, about pricing and for retail business, for restaurant, and for service industry. And for enterprise, which has more than one store. So let's start.、Uh, so, about them. So, Kite Post,、uh, I couldn't find their foundation date on their website, but according to Google Play, their first application was uploaded in 2017, and so far,、uh, around 20,000 customers wrote a review in the Google Play. So let's assume,、uh, assume that 5% of u s e r wrote a review on the website, on the Google Play.、Um, it means around 400,000 users are using Kite. It also supports English, Spanish, and Portuguese. And about r o y b u s it was founded in 2017, and on their website, They said that、uh, they have 20 years' experience in POS industry <laughs> and they have 1 million customer registration and supporting、uh, 25 plus languages, which is great.、Okay. And you can see both a p p l i c a t i o n has a good review 4.3 and 4.5. So, yeah, it can, it, I can say almost equal. Now let's compare to pricing. And actually, these two POS h a s a different pricing model. So for Kite Post,、um, they have four plans, and you need to choose. Like, it's upgrading, free, pro, g r o w t and prime. And personally,、um, I recommend using either pro or g r o w t h because for WhatsApp support, Uh, of course, it's good,、uh, but if you want to use freemium software, I think you should save money as, as much as possible and、um, research how to use what to do by yourself.、Uh, also, Pro version already includes chat support, so there's no reason you need WhatsApp support actually. Yes. If only if you want to manage item list by Excel、uh, or you want to use Windows, then you can choose Growth. But other than that,、uh, I guess Pro version is enough for you.、Uh, for r o y b u s they have different pricing models. So they have free version as a core of product, and this Uh, add ons that you can add to the,、um, the basic features.、Uh, so you can choose from three, you can choose what you want. Now let's compare the devices, available devices.、Uh, so for Kite,、uh, they have Windows version and it's available on, on Mac and iOS, Android, and browser, everything. So, I can, I can say it's excellent. Yes. On the other hand, r o y b u s、uh, they have iOS and Android only. And if you search internet, you can find many users actually using r o y b u s on Windows using emulator. But this is not officially supported way. Okay. Yeah, for example, this one is. Kite Post on my MacBook, but it's iOS version. And this is r o y b u s working on the Android emulator on my MacBook. So, yeah, of course, this, there is a way, but not officially supported. Let's go to next. Now, let's start checking the features for restaurant. I choose four features that are necessary for restaurant business and let's start checking one by one. 
for order entry. Loibus has an order entry system, so let's start how to do that. Uh, first, of course, you need to buy a thermal receipt, thermal kitchen printer, or a tablet for using for Loibus KDS, which stands for Kitchen Display System. Yes. So after getting this printer or KDS, you can go to setting and create the plus and let's say kitchen and uh, if you bought a printer you can specify a printer name or if you use a tablet you can choose a kitchen display but let's choose other model and you specify here uh, the IP address as an example anyway and um, sorry here uh, there is a uh, two option print receipt and bill and print order so if you want to use this printer as for receipt you need to activate this and if you want to use this printer for kitchen you need to activate this and if you activate this uh, you will see the option to choose printer group so this printer group uh, actually you need to set up beforehand in the Loibus back office so here in the setting uh, there is a kitchen printer menu and here uh, you can you need to set up the how many group of printer you need for example bar I want to put a printer in the bar and you need to choose uh, which categories you want to print in the bar so let's say I choose this and I activate bar so now this printer will be able to print uh, these three categories uh, when order is placed let's click save now go back to the sales screen and let's start adding product on the ticket and save to the table one like this, uh, your order will be printed from the kitchen kitchen printer. Uh, now let's go to the next feature, table management. Loibus uh, has a table management system, so let's check how it works. So, um, in Loibus back office, setting an open ticket and select the store. You will see the list of tables you have created. And if you want to add a table, actually you can add a table here and save it. Let's go to the Loibus post application. Now, if you receive any orders, you can save to the table 6 that I have created just now. Let's save it in the table 6. And you can receive next order. Or uh, if table 6 is finished, you can open it and charge for it. And this is how Loibus table management works. Next point, online ordering. So in terms of online ordering, I can say Kite is a little bit better than Loibus because they have built-in uh, ordering system. So in the free version, this is my online menu. They can have an online menu for free. But um, if you want to receive real order from the website, you can just simply subscribe to the pro version so that um, you can receive real orders from the website. This is excellent. On the, on the other hand, Loibus doesn't have an uh, ordering system by itself but it has an in the marketplace three third-party ordering system which you can use with the extra cost so uh, anyway still you can use it and their order will be added as a receipt in Loibus okay next point ingredient management for example, if you have a pizza shop, 
you may want to manage ingredient of flour, uh, ingredient of cheese, ingredient of meat. By when selling pizza itself, to do that, um, in the Roybus back office item setting, you can choose one item, and here you can enable composite item feature, and here uh, you can add some items, including it in it. So. Now, uh, whenever, whenever this sushi set is sold, then stock of sushi four times and stock of miso soup will be deducted. Through this way, um, restaurant can manage the stock of ingredients directly when making sales. So overall, I can say for restaurant business, uh, Loibus has little bit better feature than kite post. The next is for retail business. Um, if you are a retail business, you may have a lot of product like 10,000, 100,000. So it's important to manage your stock and item list correctly. So one important feature is bulk import of product, which means you manage list of items in the Excel or in CSV file and import it then to the post application. So in this feature, both Kite and Roybus had this feature. Uh, but in terms of inventory management, Roybus has more features compared to Kite. So let's check Roybus back office. Uh, if you subscribe Roybus inventory management, uh, you can have uh, this menu, purchase order, transfer order, stock adjustment, inventory count, production, supplier, inventory history, and inventory variation. And especially, for example, when, uh, when you order items from supplier, you want to have a record when and who ordered which items. So by using purchase order, you can record all your purchase history in Noibus system. Also, uh, in the inventory count, um, you can do stock counting. And of course, later on, you can see all the histories and so on and so on. Then in the inventory history section, uh, here actually you can see all the movement of your stock information and you can filter by reason, filter by employee, filter by store, filter by date and so on. Also you can search for the item name by searching it so you can see the item stock movement of specific item. Finally in the item list section uh, you can print labels choose the size, uh, store name, and you choose the uh, item and quantity, and create labels. So by printing this, uh, this labels, you can make a barcode of the item, so you can sell item by barcode, reading a barcode. Uh, so overall, um, I can say, Loibus has much better features than uh, in terms of retail business. So if you have a retail business, I absolutely recommend using Loibus. The next is for service industry. So for service industry, both Kite and Loibus has customer management feature, uh, but not more than that. So let's check Kite's customer management system. So in the kite, um, I can see the cust my customer list in the customer section. And if I open it, I can see their information, and sales history, order history, and so on and so on. And if you subscribe to the pro plan, you can either give a credit to the customer, 
or you can use the pay data function. In Loibus, you can see customer list from the customer section. And here you can see email, phone number, customer code, and first visit, last visit, and total spent, and its point. In Loibus, even in the free version, I can give any credit on the customer. And when making sales, I can add customer from here. Or actually, I can search customer by customer code. Here it is. Choose payment type. So now, this uh, customer is recorded with my list sales. So in terms of uh, service industry, um, I can say both of them has an average, average feature. So you can you choose which one you like. Next, for enterprise and franchise, it's specifically which who has more than one store. So if you have more than one store, it's important to have an access rights management feature, multi store management, and API feature. So let's check it. In the kite post, if you subscribe to the pro plan, you can have up to three users list. And in grow plan, you have 10 user. In prime, you have unlimited user. And you can manage what kind of action this employee can do. In Robust also, uh, if you go to the employee section, you can create an employee account and choose the role. And actually, you can choose which store this employee have access. Also, in the access rights section, you can choose what kind of action this employee can do. This is a list of access rights. Save it. So, both Kite and Roybus has an access right management. And in Roybus, if you have more than one store, you can create a new store by simply going to setting, stores, and click add store button. You can create up to 200 stores inside one, one account. Finally, API. So if you are enterprise business, your POS should be connected to other applications. So in Roybus, if you go to developer.roybus.com slash docs, you can see Roybus API for free. So you can create any integrations using this documentation. So as a conclusion, if you have more than one store, Roybus is better choice than KitePods. Finally, as a conclusion of this video, this is a flowchart to decide which POS you should use by answering the question. The first question is, you have more than one store. If yes, you should choose Roybus. If not, then next question is, you have iPad or Android? If the answer is no, uh, you cho should choose KitePos because it can be used on Windows, Mac, and on browser. And if you have iPad or Android, the next question is if your business is retail. If yes, I recommend using Roybus. If no, you can choose whichever you want. Please research the function and decide what you want to do with the POS. But anyway, both POS are the best premium POS in the world. So I hope this video will help your business management. Thank you.